Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a collective haul video and I asked you guys on Twitter earlier today, by the way, today has been so not stressful but I've just been feeling really rushed and I did my makeup in the car today, um, it's like about to pour outside so um, the lighting is probably making me look like a gray, like white color, and also there's a window right here, so if I look really pale, that is why, but anyway, so, sorry about the lighting. So I asked you guys on Twitter if I should just do a collective haul on hair products I just got and the makeup I bought yesterday, or if I should include, like, books and candles and all that stuff, and you guys were like, yes, everything, show us everything you got. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. So today... Let's start with hair products. So I got these a couple days ago. And shampoo and conditioner I got from Cosmoprof, um, also known as Barnum. I, sh I like featured all my hair products in a vlog. And I'll post my vlog channel down below, like always, so you guys can go check out my vlog channel. But um, I told them about this first than you guys, which is probably bad, but oh well. So the shampoo and conditioner is by Kenra, and it's the color Maintenance. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I colored my hair. So, I've been wanting to take really good care of my hair. So, I wanted a color depositing shampoo. Um, just something that's really going to protect my hair. So, my mother actually recommended this to me. And this brand is very pricey. But since we went to a Cosmoprof, um, hairdressers or anyone that's in beauty school can get discounts. So, um, I looked this up online, actually. Um, the shampoo is supposed to strip your hair color and um, give it moisture. So, this actually retails, just this one bottle retails for $23. So, the conditioner is obviously, it's supposed to repair and strengthen um, damaged hair. And this actually retails for $31 by itself. So pretty much this stuff is the crap. Um, I got them both for $19. I've been testing it out for the past two days and oh my gosh, my hair feels so silky in the shower and they are 33.8 fluid ounces. Moving on to Kenra Volumizing Hairspray. So my mom is a hairdresser and she recommended this to me. And the Kenra hairspray actually retails for $24 for the 16 ounce one. It's supposed to volumize your hair as well as lock in and hold it also. And um, it's also a fast drying formula. So right when you spray it in your hair, it's going to get like a little sticky, but it gives you volume. I have it in my hair right now. I swear, this is bad. I'm like using all the products that I bought when I'm not supposed to. But and look, it just looks so like voluminous and volumized and just awesome. So yeah, really, really, I've really been loving this so far. Another thing I picked up is by Bad Had, and it's their Head Rush Shine Spray. This retails for almost $17 online. Um, I got it for $9. And the reason why I picked this up, because since I just dyed my hair again, it's kind of, you know, it damages it. And this stuff is really good if you have frizzy, damaged hair, or dull hair, because you can spray this on and it won't make your hair look greasy. And it also um, does not weigh down your hair as well. So you can spray as much as you want. And the best part, it smells like candy and it's amazing. So I got it for nine bucks. So complete steal for all those hair products. And a lot of you guys were asking me about like a hair care video, but I'm just going to tell you. Uh, the two extra products that I've been using on my hair. So I have been using this, the Kenra um, Color Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. And then um, right when I get out of the shower, I like dry, like towel dry my hair. And then I put this, it's Bedhead Eco Boost. It's a split end mender leave-in conditioner. This stuff smells great. Just do probably like three pumps of this in my hand and then I just rub it in my ends and I just go through like the tops of my hair and just like work it all in. Um, this stuff is really great as, as a leave-in conditioner. I really recommend it. I've been using it for um, a while. Like I used it back when I was in high school and then I kind of just rekindled it. So um, I do love this. And also this is another Bedhead product. I love Bedhead. So it is the After Party. And it's the smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. So pretty much after I'm done straightening it or curling it, I will just squirt this in my hands. Smells amazing. And I just work it in my ends and just it really gives it a nice shine, healthy look. And then 
I've been spraying this stuff in my hair just to make it not look dull and make it really shiny and just amazing. So those are all the products that I've been using on my hair. Okay. So moving on, what should I move on to? Let's do candles. So I went to Bath and Body last week and last week they were having a sale on their mini candles it was like buy two for ten dollars and when I was smelling candles I was just like oh my gosh I want my room to smell like this and then I wanted to get stuff for my bathroom so like my room just smells like fall and I just get all excited do you guys do that do you guys um go in the Bath and Body Works and you're just like oh my god I want my room to like fully smell like this I want to get in fall mode like just the warm cozy like feeling I guess I'm just weird, I don't know, but pretty much when I went in there I wanted to buy everything. So um, I picked up these two candles, I picked up leaves, and this one has a rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and berries. Oh my gosh, I haven't even used this one, I have not burnt it, it is, smells so good, so that's that one. And then the other one, I already burned it, it's like a halfway done, which I wanted to cry. Um, this one is a delicious fall blend of mulled cider warm caramel and sweet cinnamon this one has got to be one of my favorites it's new it's called cider lane um so yeah that's pretty much all i purchased and then uh yesterday i went back to bath and body when i was at the mall and they were having their big candles on sale two for 20. i just repurchased the cider lane because look this one is halfway done and i was just like oh my gosh i have to get the big one so yeah this one's cider lane it's one of my favorites i definitely recommend this could smell this all day so this one I'm definitely gonna finish burning this one and then get on though if you're wondering what the other candle that I got I actually got it for my Nana and she just picked out her own candle so we just did the two for 20 and split it and then she got tons of these um, gentle foaming hand soaps and obviously there's their fall flavors I got the sweet cinnamon pumpkin so my Nana just bought a lot of them and I'm like oh I need this one for my bathroom if you guys don't know which I don't think I mentioned to you guys um, I did on my vlog channel but I'm gonna be going to beauty school in October <laughs> which I am so excited for you guys you have no idea so um, I actually did a school tour and I sat in on a class and they have this makeup book that I was searching and just reading all about stuff and I was like copying notes down for you guys just maybe I can recreate a look that was in the book and I just got really inspired so when I got home I went on Amazon and I ordered um, some makeup books um, I only got one in the mail so far I'm still waiting on the other one this one is by Ray Morris and it's the makeup the ultimate guide and it just looks like this just just look at this cover for a second doesn't this just make you want to do like makeup just want to recreate that look like just so gorgeous this is just really inspiring to me it has great um, just like pictures through it um, it gives you like step-by-step -step, like looks I don't know if you guys can see this um, what else Woo! like just the beginning I'll just show you guys the whole book okay so just the beginning it it gives you like what you should have in a makeup kit let me see if it will focus yeah see it just has like all the brushes what they do what they mean uh, lip colors see that just like brushes Ooh, a picture gives you like different eyebrows just like different arches it just gives you so many great tips and oh my gosh I just am in love with this like look like what eyeshadows you should wear if you have brown eyes hazel eyes it's just a great thing to study take notes on great book um, I think it's originally yeah it's it's originally thirty dollars and thirty thirty three dollars in Canada I got it for 19 bucks on Amazon I'll leave all the links to all the products down in the description bar so you guys can go purchase them if you want and then um, I also got <laughs> Because I didn't tell you guys this either. I'm going on vacation soon, and I'm going to New York, and, um, yeah, I'm going to New York soon. So, I got a laptop case, just because I didn't want to throw my laptop in a bag and have it get all scratched up. So, I just bought a typical, just, you know, something that does the job. It's pink. It's, um, mushy. When you press on it, mushy. This was only 10 bucks on Amazon. And look, when you open it up. Don't want it to fall out. There's my laptop. Which brings me on to the next thing. I got a decal sticker <laughs> on my MacBook. And I got it for like two bucks, two or three dollars on Amazon. It's just Hello Kitty. And you guys can see her. Yeah. So yeah, Hello Kitty um, obsession right here. <laughs>
Makeup, what am I doing? Okay, so makeup went to Sephora yesterday. Man, I need to like keep keep it up. I don't want this to be a super long video. So yesterday I tweeted like, oh, I'm gonna splurge. I'm gonna get like one of the naked palettes. And I did, oh. So um, I don't know if you guys noticed in my makeup collection, but I didn't have a naked palette. So um, pretty much why I wanted to purchase it. One, because it's amazing. Two, um, I know I would use it so much. And since I'm going on vacation soon, I didn't want to take like huge palettes with me. So I got the naked palette. It's, oh my gosh, like I am so thankful. I think when beauty gurus just buy like high-end things, they don't really like, they appreciate and they love that they got it. But literally guys, when I open this thing, I'll just open it. I don't even care. Um, uh, but when I opened it, you can ask my brother. My brother was with me. I opened this thing and I was staring at the colors for, oh my gosh, like five minutes straight. Just like examining every single color. Just like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like, oh, I'll just show you it for those of you who don't have it yet. But it comes with a Urban Decay eye primer. And this is just what the Naked Palette looks like. And when you open it up, it just has a bunch of neutral colors. Oh my gosh, guys, aren't these colors gorgeous? Um, I'm just super excited. Words can't even describe. So I just know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. And what was really funny is I was in Sephora. This girl was like, oh, you should definitely get the Naked Palette better. It's so much better than the Naked too. And she's like, oh, and if you need help, like, and you don't know how to apply the Urban Decay shadows out of the Naked Palette, they have tons of YouTube videos on it. And I'm like, no way. But anyway, that was one of my huge purchases. Definitely a splurge. Definitely worth it. So excited. Okay, and last but not least, I went to MAC. And I mostly went to the mall yesterday just to get the Naked Palette and some MAC products. So last, this is last. I'm so sorry if this video is really long. But anyway. So let me show you what I got. I got... Um, I was determined to get a new eyeliner. Um, for those of you who know, I was using Victoria's Secrets Eyeliner. And I just want something new, something amazing. And that will last really a, like a long time. So I got the Eye Cool Pencil and Smolder. And this is $15, I believe, 15 something, like it ranges up to like $16. It just glides on. It is so beautiful. It's also water resistant, so that's amazing for if it rains outside. And um, also it's safe for contacts because I've had some eyeliners in the past that when I put it in my waterline, it would get like coated over my contacts and like my whole day would be ruined because I could not see so um, yeah definitely safe for contacts if you wear them so yeah I'm really glad I picked that up and then last two little products I'm so excited for this you guys actually I'm gonna show you this last because it's just that great so I got a lipstick and um, I've been using cream cup for like my everyday and it's like a nude pink color and I kinda just wanted not something totally new, like something not totally out of my comfort zone, just like a little step up. It has a little bit more color, not so nude. So I got Snob, and it has a satin finish. It has purple undertones in it, and it's just like a really nice pink color. So I just picked that one up because I just love the way it looks. And also, I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell and taste of MAC lipsticks, but that's just me probably. Um, I did get a Dazzle Glass, and Dazzle Glasses are... They're like sticky, but they have so many reflexes of different colors, and they're just so shimmery and gorgeous. Anyway, I'm babbling. They're just so amazing, and I want to get more Dazzle glasses, just saying. Um, this one is in Money Honey. It's pink, and it has um, purple undertone in it with like gold reflex of shimmer in it. Um, I'll apply it on my lips so you guys can see what it looks like right here. So I'm so happy with every single one of my purchases. Um, sorry about the lighting. I look ghostly, disgusting white right now. And I'm not. But I will leave all the products down in the description bar. And if you want to purchase them, feel free. Um, I love every single one of you first. And um, thank you guys so much for subscribing, commenting. You guys are all so nice. And, um, yeah, also if I get up to 20,000 subscribers soon, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so just keep subscribing, and, yeah, I love you guys, I've been saying that so much just because it's so true, and I will see you guys in my next video, bye! It looks super white. Mm, I don't want to look pale.